Come on in, come on in, come on in. Hey guys, my name is Rosalind from Rosalind Journey to Crafting. So we're going to make pig in the blankets. And the first thing you must do is boil, then fry your friends. Please don't skip that step. So you will see me start out with a clean slate. We got some biscuits, some cheese, and voila. Come on in, come on in, come on in. Hey guys, my name is Rosalind from Rosalind Journey to Crafting. How are you guys doing today? Well, today we're going to make pig in the blankets, and all you're going to need is some cheese, some franks, boiled and um, fried, and some Pillsbury biscuits. So what we're going to do, we're going to take a little bit of flour, I'm going to put it down. Take one. I'm going to just roll it out. Not really big. I just want to make enough um, space to get my um, my friends inside and cover them. So that's one of the reasons why I um, I'm stretching it out. Put some. Just to stop the dough from sticking to the. Um, Now, I have cheese there. If you guys don't want to put cheese in yours, that's fine. You don't have to. The next thing I do is I'll take a little bit of cheese and just going to put it in the middle. And place it in the middle. Then I just put my hot dog. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap it. Now when you place them down in the pan, place them down on this way here. That way when it's in there and it's cooking, it don't pop up. It'll have something just like that. All right? So we're just gonna keep going until we finish. And if you don't have a rolling bin, you can do the same thing I'm doing. Whereas I'm just using my hand to stretch it. So you don't have to worry about having a rolling pin. You really don't. Guys, these things is a great appetizer. Whether you have an event or you just, um, you know, just want a little something before dinner. And that's what this is, just a little something before dinner. Um, yeah. And everybody seems to love it. You can put mustard inside yours. You can just, just, just do it up however you want. Over here, that way I have to keep going inside the bag. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to like to seal them completely up that way keep the moisture inside keep the cheese inside but I don't mind my cheese coming out I really don't 
So if you don't want your cheese to come oozing out, just pinch the sides. That's it. So I'm making eight of these. So that means four francs. I cut them in half. And that's how I get eight. Now, if you want to do a whole pack, that'd be great. You could feed a lot with that. You'll end up with 16. Right? I'm just making eight tonight. Believe me, they're going to all go tonight. And remember, with, with, with the large ones, you can stretch this thing out really, really large. And um, you can put a whole franc in there if you choose. The bin is the, the, the pin to stretch them out. Just pull as you go. Pull your dough, not too hard, and just run. And make sure you close. The ends, just like that. If you don't have a, 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 a rolling thing, just take a coffee cup and use that. This is the same way you can um, make your, your pizzas. Um, the same way. Like right now, put some sauce on it, put some cheese on it, some pepperonis, and just throw it in the oven. Voila, you got your own pizza. You want to make it a, a, a deep dish, just put all your, your uh, 
your biscuits together, take your rolling pin, roll it into a big pizza. That's it. You have your own pizza that you make. Last one. Then we're going to put it in the oven. We're going to put it in the oven on 300 degrees for maybe like a half an hour. Just check them. You know when biscuits is done. Just remember, the franks are already done, boiled and fried. So the only thing we're waiting for now is to get done is the dough. So when you check them and your dough is ready, you're ready to go. That's it. spray them just a little bit hey. when I put them in the um, pan I'm also pressing them down So they're gonna really blow up. Blow up. So on that note, guys, I'm gonna clean up this mess. I'm gonna let that cook, and I'll be right back.